To add a scale drawing to your report, select a drawing view from the drawings button. Select plan view. A drawing element will then be attached to the cursor. You can then place the drawing on your page. With the item placed, you can then grab one of the scale handles and click and drag the drawing to size to a standard architectural scale. Notice the scales are indicated in blue as you adjust the size. The drawing will snap to these scales. If you don't wish to use a scale, you can deselect the Use Scale checkbox in the Properties sidebar. With the drawing selected, the ribbon bar will display a Dynamic Properties tab to allow you to edit the related properties of the drawing. If contours, labels, masks, or photometric webs are active in the drawing, you can toggle their visibility by selecting the corresponding buttons. Using the Layers button, you can toggle the visibility of layers. This powerful feature could be used to create multiple drawing views of your lighting design. Instead of trying to show everything in one busy drawing, you can use layers and layer visibility adjustments in the print editor to simplify your design presentation. You could use this feature to create a reflected ceiling plan and a plan showing calculation points from the same drawing. Any views saved in the design environment will be available in the view gallery of the print editor. By default, the current view in the design environment will be displayed in the view gallery. Saved views are dynamic, so any change in a view in the design environment will automatically be updated in the print editor. To add a saved view to your report, simply select it from the view gallery and insert it onto the page. You can then resize the image and change the name if needed. Luminaire schedules and other report tables, such as the Luminaire location and calculation summaries, function in a similar manner. So once you know how to work with the schedule, you'll be able to work with all other tables. To create a Luminaire schedule, click the Luminaire schedule command and insert the schedule onto the page. You can adjust the size of your schedule by dragging one of the grab handles. Resizing the schedule will automatically resize the font size. You can change the width of the schedule without resizing the fonts by clicking into the table and adjusting the width of each column. You can edit which rows are displayed by clicking and dragging the Rows button at the bottom of the schedule. This will change the number of rows displayed. You can also adjust which rows are displayed from the schedule by scrolling through the schedule using the scroll bar on the right. You can hide individual rows by selecting the Hide button to the left of the row. If a row is hidden, an unhide button will appear. If you don't want to view a particular column in your schedule, you can hide the column using the Columns Edit function in the Properties ribbon, or simply right-click in the column you wish to hide and select Hide Column. The print editor saves you time by leveraging the power of the Acuity Brands product database and automatically retrieving product images and spec sheets for you. When you add an Acuity Brands photometric file to your project, the associated product data will be displayed in the Products drop-down on the ribbon bar. In the Products drop-down, product images and spec sheets are grouped by catalog number. Click an item to insert it onto the page. Images and PDFs can be resized and their position adjusted after they have been inserted. If you select a spec sheet, you may need to specify which page to display before you can insert it onto the page. To add other PDFs or images to your report, select the PDF or image command from the Insert tab. You can then browse to the file location and select it. The PDF or image will then be placed on the cursor for you to place in your report. Using templates, you can create a library for commonly used items. Templates are saved items that you can define. You can then select from your library of saved templates to reuse common images, text, or modified versions of the default schedules. A good example of a user template would be creating a text item that contains your company's legal disclaimer. You could then quickly add this disclaimer to any page where it is needed without having to recreate it. Let's create a new template item from the Luminaire Location Schedule. Start by inserting a new Luminaire Location Schedule onto the page. Remove the aiming location columns from this table. Most of these fixtures are aimed straight down, so this information is redundant. With the schedule selected, in the Properties tab, select Templates and Save as User Template. 
enter a meaningful name for this new template, like Luminaire Locations No Aiming, and then select Save. Now, on the Insert tab, you can see your saved template in the Template Gallery. Other good uses of the template feature would be company logos, common notes, common details, or any other information that you find yourself using on a lot of your reports. You can also add single or multi-line text to your report. Notes are generally used to add multiple lines of text. You can generate a note from a text file and automatically build a note from documents that you may already have. By default, notes have a yellow background, but you can change this in the property sidebar. You can save your notes to the note library with your formatting so that you will not have to make those changes again. The text command is typically used for one-line text, like titles or image labels, but you can write multi-line text with it as well. From the shapes command, you can add lines or callout lines to your page. This is useful for indicating drawing notes or perhaps connecting a luminaire image to a luminaire symbol on the drawing. The table command can be used to generate blank tables for you to enter your own data. You can copy and paste an item from one page to another or within the same page using the keyboard shortcut you would normally. Just select an object and use Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to paste it. Using right click on an item will also access the copy and paste commands. If you are happy with an item's location and you want to be sure you don't accidentally move it while working on the rest of your report, you can use the lock command. With an item selected, the lock command is visible in the properties tab of the ribbon bar. Lock can also be accessed via the right click. If an item is locked, you can unlock it by selecting the lock command again. If you have items that overlap, you can change which item is in front or behind by selecting an item and then select either the Bring Item to Front or Send Item to Back command from the Properties tab in the ribbon bar. In these videos, we covered setting your page size, customizing title blocks, and placing all types of design information into pages. The Visual Print Editor is a powerful and time-saving component that helps you quickly document your designs and calculations. The Visual Print Editor also provides several tools for you to create and save custom output configurations to further increase the speed you can document your project. This concludes the video tutorial for the Visual Print Editor. For more tutorials, visit visual-3d.com. If you have any comments or questions about the Print Editor, send your questions to support at visual-3d.com.